Hello everyone, this is Ms. Pratima with the topic Transportation. Here, two small subtopics are there that is transportation in animals and transportation in plants. First, we'll discuss transportation in plants. At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to know transportation and describe the mechanism of transportation of materials in plants. The transport system in plant is different from that of the animals. Plant bodies usually contains a large portion of dead cells and therefore are less active. Here, two specialized conducting tissues help in transportation that is phloem and xylem. This together makes the conducting tissues. It is also known as vascular bundles. Now, let us discuss the mechanism of transport through xylem. The transportation in xylem is unidirectional, that is upward movement. This is known as ascent of sap. First, the water and minerals are absorbed by the root hairs and reaches to the xylem present in the stem. Through the xylem, it reaches to the leaf. Xylem has different parts that is xylem fiber, xylem parenchyma, xylem vessels and tracheids. It is xylem vessels and tracheids that take parts in transportation. Once the water and minerals reaches to the leaf, it takes part in the process of photosynthesis. You all know what you mean by photosynthesis. It is the process by which the plant prepares its food. Once the required amount of water is utilized, the extra water is excreted out or removed out by the process of transpiration through the stomata. Stomata are the small pores that are present in the lower surface of the leaf. As the water moves upward through the roots to the leaves, lot of it gets evaporated and removed out through the small openings known as stomata. This process is known as transpiration. Transpiration also regulates the temperature in the atmosphere. The guard cells in the stomata controls the rate of transpiration. In this picture, you can see how the water molecules are absorbed by the root and excess water are given out through the stomata. Now, let us see transportation of food and other substances through phloem. Phloem has four different components, sieve plate, sieve tubes, phloem parenchyma and the companion cells. The synthesis of the sugar and the metabolites occur in the leaf. Transport of these substances from the place where it is prepared is known as translocation. It requires energy in the form of ATP. Food is transported from higher pressure to the lower pressure according to the plant's requirement. For example, in the spring season, the birds require more energy to grow. Hence, sugar stored in the stem or root tissue is transported through the phloem tissue to the birds. Look at the picture carefully here. It shows the direction of the food materials and the water and minerals through xylem and phloem. Xylem, it is the unidirectional and in phloem, it is multidirectional.